New life goal, be a park ranger. We have now made it to the Yellowstone Grand Canyon. There was quite a line to get into the parking lot here at the Grand Canyon, but fortunately there was one RV spot left and we were able to snag it. We took one of the side trails down and the view is incredible. Look at this. This is the north rim of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. This is one of the cooler waterfalls that I've seen. It's over 300 feet tall, and there is a ton of water pouring over the edge at every second. That was steep. We drove a little further along the North Rim Road, and we're coming out to one of the viewpoints called Grand View. So we'll see what it looks like. The colors on the canyon wall are a result of all of the thermal activity going on in this area. The canyon here is about 1,500 feet deep and about the same distance across. In fact, you can choose to drive down the North Canyon side or drive down the South Rim side. I think it thought I was gonna feed it. However, that is not allowed in the national parks. You should not feed any of the wildlife, even the little chipmunks. But you should feed your wife so she doesn't get hangry. We are now at the overlook called Inspiration Point. It's the end of the North Rim Trail and there's lots of little levels that you can get to to see the river, which is the Yellowstone River, or you can barely see the waterfall that we saw earlier. Now Yellowstone's Grand Canyon is not the Grand Canyon. That's located in the Southwest United States in Utah and Arizona. And it's beautiful in its own way. It's vast, it's huge, but you can't see the river there. You can't really appreciate it. Whereas here, you can hear the river, you can see it up close. It's not as deep, but it has lots of beautiful colors running in the river as well as in the rocks on the side. And so it's really beautiful in its own way. We've now made it to the Upper Falls, which is actually the smaller of the two falls. And it's about a hundred feet in height. You can still smell some of the sulfur. Our last stop for today on the rim is going to be Artist Point. We are now in the Hainan Valley, and as you can see, we are taking pictures of some of the wildlife across the water. Right now, we see some elk and geese. We found a nice overlook, we made dinner, and now we're just enjoying the scenery. It is beautiful behind us with like a major meadow with a river running through it. And there's lots of bison and geese and hopefully we'll see a bear. We are joined on our stakeout by a raven. This place is called Sulphur Cauldron, and it is very sulfuric. In fact, uh, these pools are so acidic, they are like a pH of one, which is 
almost as acidic as you can get. It is very intensely smelly here. <sighs> Sulfur and rotten eggs. I found a herd of buffalo with some baby buffalo just over the river, away from the sulfur pools. And Eric got out his lens, and then we had a huge crew join us. I was an influencer, I did that. Poor bison looks lost. We have had a very busy full day in Yellowstone and we are looking forward to another few days, four I think, but we are at our campsite for tonight. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like it.